Today's guest tonight is an Emmy-nominated actor you know from shows like Heroes and Gilmore Girls. He stars in the critically acclaimed series This Is Us, the sixth and final season. Airs Tuesday nights here on NBC. Let's take a look. It ain't worth it, right? I mean, the kids, they, they barely knew her. I mean, when was the last time she visited? They were, what, like a year old? Yeah, but they talked to her on the phone. And that's all she's been for years, just a voice on the other end of the telephone. Look, it, like, knowing my mom, I've got a funeral to plan and a lifetime of loose ends to tie up. Look, it's just, it's better if I do this alone. Please welcome back to the show, Milo Ventimiglia. Hello, Milo. What's happening, sir? What's going on, man? Good to see you. It's great to see you. Congratulations. It's very hard to do a TV show that ends on its own terms. That must be a very satisfying thing to be a part of. Very satisfying thing, although we're not quite there at the end. We're right in the thick of season six. But it's nice to know that we've had the runway to land the plane the way we want to land the plane uh, versus other shows where it's just kind of like, crashes <laughs> or you're in the air and then the network calls and is like we need you we're not gonna let you have the plane anymore dude or better yeah or better yeah they're like yeah you're not gonna land the plane you're gonna continue <laughs> to fly you're gonna circle the runway for for years and years we uh we talked to some of your castmates about uh, who will be the biggest crier uh on the set the last day i know you mentioned wow. you're only about halfway there how are you feeling emotionally Emotionally, I'm pretty good. I think uh, I feel pretty solid. I've got a lot of resolve about showing up to work every day, spending time with the crew. Uh, we got a great crew. But I'm sure those last moments, uh, everyone's going to be in tears. Everyone's going to be crying. Us in production. The audience, I think we've established the audience will be crying. Yeah. But uh, us in production, I have a feeling that we'll be emotional, we'll have a hard time letting go. I mean, you know this, you're on a show for so many years and all of a sudden you remember that first moment and then it's done and you're like, oh, wait, I, I may not see these people again or every day or maybe in passing or social media or whatever. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's bittersweet. I really do hope the audience cries at the finale of the show. <laughs> that, would be, that would be the great final twist if the last, <laughs> if the last episode of this show just wasn't emotional at all. And Oh, no, it's like a Seinfeld episode or something. All of a sudden, like, people are like, what are all these, like, but up jokes? Like, what is happening? <laughs> yeah. I don't understand Super this. jokey. The last episode, super yeah. hacky. Uh, totally, you also totally. uh, got to be, you know, we were, uh, by the clip, you know, most of the work you did, obviously, on the show was with Mandy. And, uh, you know, it was a bigger cast than that. But because of, you know, the different times the, the show takes place, you, you don't interact, obviously. But you did go behind the camera and direct some episodes. How was it to direct your other castmates? It, it was funny. Sometimes, you know, because I don't act with them on a regular basis, I'm not on set with them. At first, is um, my directions met with a little kind of side eye, yeah. like kind of looking at me, like we don't have that trust yet. Like, I mean, we could knock out a press conference together, no sweat. But it's been a pleasure, you know, to be creative with the cast, to actually be there, get that front row seat into what they're doing week in and week out. And you know, I got to say, I mean, they're. They're all so talented, and the words are there, and the crew is well-oiled. The whole process of it is, is very smooth, especially for you know, us directors. There's not a whole lot we have to do other than pay attention, um, kind of give like a bit of a Tom Hanks, you know, faster, slower. Um, I forgot whatever he said. He goes, you know, faster, slower, louder, softer, whatever it is. He, he gives like, there's like four directions you need to give as a director. Maybe this is why you're getting side-eye on set. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Like, Mike, could you give us a little bit more, please, Mike, please? Well, uh, one thing you've accomplished, and I'm pretty sure they can't take these away once you have them, although I actually think a lot of people have had them taken away <laughs> for, like, bad behavior. Well, but you got well, a star on the Hollywood uh, Walk of Fame, and I think yours is safe. Yeah. Thanks, man. I mean, look, I think you're right. I think they can, they can uh, lobby to have some taken away because they continually get destroyed. You might have... You know, your, yeah. your previous conversation, I think that star might have been, been <laughs> destroyed a couple of times. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that mine will stay there yeah. for a while. I'm hoping it inspires young artists. Yeah, I'm right there with next to me. I was going to say, I, I, when I looked at it, I'm like, it's very unclear who you're gesturing to, but that's very nice. You, uh, <laughs> I was like, do you, I, were you, uh, are you like, I got two. Um, that's yeah, a level well, that one, was, this is my actor one, and that's my director one. <laughs> yeah, totally. I know. Wouldn't that be wild? Actually, um, there are, I, I feel like there are some people, though, that do have, because there's the, there's the movie symbol, then there's the TV symbol, then there's the radio symbol. 
I feel wow. like there are some people that do have a couple. That seems a little, that seems like overdoing it. Yeah. I think if you have more than one star, that's bad behavior. Um, so uh, <laughs> you grew up, uh, you know, you grew up out uh, in California, I guess, in, in, was it in Anaheim was where you grew up? Yeah, I, grew, uh, I guess kind of like right <laughs> there-ish. Thank right you, and there. thank um, you for bringing a map. I know we gave you very, we gave you very short I mean, notice that we would like a map, and you really pulled I mean, it I, I did some art. I did some art direction. I called <laughs> my friend Aaron Draplin. I was like, hey, man, do you have that California poster? Please, please. I got to put it behind me to let everybody know that I'm not in New York. Um, yeah, I grew up in Anaheim. I went to Disneyland all the time. Uh, I grew up a total normal kid, having fun, doing dumb stuff that kids do. Um, and then I was also kind of acting. So, so it was a good place to grow up. So you had an early, you know, your sort of career got started, uh, I guess, after college, really. But as a mm -hmm. young actor, you auditioned for a movie, and you got pretty close. You're talking about um, uh, Radio Flyer? Radio Flyer. I think so. Or you're like, you're like, no, nah, I'm going to go with it, whatever he says. He could have he said Terminator. I tried out for Terminator. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I heard, to, it was, I heard it was, came down to you or Schwarzenegger. It was going to be a very, a very uh, different but, you know, movie, where it was a very young, a young Terminator. Can you imagine like 12 year old Milo like running through, well, not Terminator, sorry, I went to Predator, being chased in, in, a, in a Colombian jungle by some beast. And I'm like, oh, I'm a kid from Orange County. Um, yeah. you, uh, you also are uh, uh, getting back together uh, with, your, uh, with your gang, uh, Gilmore Girls gang, Amy Sherman Palladino. Mm -hmm. uh, you're in the next, yes, season of, next season of Maisel. This is very exciting, yep. look at you. And yep, uh, there I she feel like is. There's, there's Midge walking up a nice hill and being a turtleneck. I mean, who doesn't want to watch that? You, I want to say, I was like, oh, I, I hope you're proud of your turtleneck. And based on this pose, you're very <laughs> proud of your turtleneck. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, that is a proud of my <laughs> turtleneck stance right there. Hands yeah. on hips. Yeah. You know, like 80s dad bod because I can't hide Jack belly just sticking out there. Yeah. But, this is uh, like, I yeah, feel like this, uh, this pose was in every catalog my dad ever got. <laughs> <laughs> Sears Roebuck. Yeah, Sears very Roebuck. Roebuck. Uh, that must yes. be exciting uh, uh, to work with Amy again. It's a blast. I mean, you know, she and Dan Palladino, her husband, and, and uh, they were just so good to me back in the Gilmore days. I mean, I don't know if you ever knew, but they were planning on spinning Jess off onto his own show when they sent him off to California to meet his father. And that just didn't work for whatever reason. But they've been very good to me, and they've kept up with me. And Amy actually came out to California uh, for the star ceremony. She spoke at it. So she is one of those people that whenever she calls, whenever she says, hey, Maya, I need you for this, I'm always going to be there. Uh, they're wonderful people. They're crazy talented. And also, like Rachel, she's a pal of mine. So to be on camera, you know, playing the scenes that we were playing. I mean, she's, she's just, she's a lot of fun. She's a lot of fun. So it's, uh, it's an easy group to be around. Well, that's great. I can't wait to see it. But I also want to ask about this. So here you are. Hmm. Uh, you're at the Indy 500 here, yes? And you are, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's you um, waving, that's uh, waving the green flag. And, um, and this is, you just snuck past security, right? This is, you just crawled up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I basically pulled past a bunch of people, climbed the stair. You know what I did, too? I even brought Russ. I brought my buddy Russ. Russ is in the back of the jean jacket. He's, if you zoom in on there, He's holding up his phone. Yeah, go right, right, oh, yeah. right, right, right. There, there's Russ in the back holding his phone. No, no, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right there. That's Russ. Yeah. That's my, my producing partner, Russ. I snuck him up there. That's great. Grabbed the flag from the gentleman who usually waves the green <laughs> flag. His name is Aaron. Yeah. And I just waved the heck out of that thing. And none of the cars were ready. And they were like, oh, no, 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 no. Dude, what is it? Yeah, no, they were ready. They were ready. Can't imagine a louder honor than that one. I had I had ear earplugs in. Yeah. It was loud. It was loud. I mean, when those cars are just racing underneath you, just ripping around that track. I mean, I, I actually. So my buddy Connor Daly, he's a racing driver. He was the one that brought us out there and said, "Hey, you should come out." But then before that, the day before, they were like, "Do you want to get into a race car with Mario Andretti and have Mario Andretti take you around the track?" And I was like, "Yes." That was my first thought. My second thought was, "Isn't he like?" Late 70s, early 80s? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do it. Cool, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, I and think if there's ever, the I mean, I wouldn't get, but you know, most 80 year olds, I'd say no, but I think Mario Andretti would probably uh, say yeah. pick. Yeah. Hey, yeah, uh, totally. thanks so much for being here. Congrats on uh, the sixth and final season. We really appreciate your time. Thanks, man. Always great to see you, Seth. My Lamentamilia, everybody.